Are you ready for it? Hey you, today is the release of Taylor Swift's newest album, Lover. It's been 13 years since she released her first album and we've seen her style morph from innocent country girl to feminine powerhouse. I mean, come on, Taylor's on the cover of the Vogue September issue. Taylor has really changed her style since the Reputation album and I'm gonna tell you 10 easy ways you can implement the new Lover album style so that you can celebrate listening to this album in style. All of these tips will be things you can actually implement into your regular wardrobe. So don't worry if your life isn't always on stage putting on shows. But hey, if we haven't met yet, I'm Jules. If you're like me and you like fashion style shopping and Taylor Swift, then we should totally be friends, like best friends. I upload one to two videos every week and you'd be the king of my heart if you subscribe. So thinking back to the Reputation album, the first symbol that comes to mind is the snake. And we actually see the snake appear a few times in the me and you need to calm down music videos and even some lyrics. And that's just the start. As I'm filming this, the album has not been released yet, so there very well could be more. But this is the end of a decade and the start of an age, so the lover style symbol that we're seeing most is butterflies. And we see this in the me music video where the snake literally turns into butterflies. And then in the you need to calm down videos, her tattoos on her back are butterflies coming out of a snake. Since then, Taylor has been adding butterflies into her style, most notably through her jewelry. In this Instagram post that she made wearing a bracelet stack, which of course is full of Easter eggs, one of the bracelets is of butterflies. Whatever you choose, find little ways to incorporate butterflies into your outfit. But today I've opted for the temporary tattoo. I'll link these ones down below in the description box, but they come in these nice sheets, so if you did want to put them all over your back, you could. But today I've just put a small butterfly on my foot in the same place that Taylor has her heart tattoo. Okay, so for this next tip, let's go back to that picture of the bracelets. This image is classic Taylor. Despite each album re brand, there are some elements of her style that stay the same, and bracelets are no exception. When Taylor first started, one of her most popular pieces of merch was a leather bracelet with her signature on it. Did you have one? I had one. Give a thumbs up down below if you did too. But of course I couldn't find mine for today's video. But I love the move from leather bracelets to beaded bracelets. It gives a much more glamorous feel and kind of shows the return of the girly side after the Reputation album. Stacked wrap beaded bracelets are really in with fashion bloggers right now, so I've chosen this beautiful wrap bracelet that I think will go with everything, especially as we transition from summer to fall. Speak now of summer, this is the first album Taylor has released during the summer. The colors we see in the videos released this summer are very saturated and include all the colors of the rainbow. But wearing rainbow colors isn't new to Taylor. Even during her darkest tour, the Reputation tour, she had a beautiful rainbow sequin dress that she wore. In her most recent performances, Taylor has been decked out in all the colors and even wore a rainbow sequin dress to the party where drunk Taylor was trending. So if you really want to celebrate the Lover album, them in true Taylor Swift style, then wear your rainbow sequin dress with pride. I scoured the internet for some really great affordable ones, which I'll link down below in the description box, but I really don't have a purpose for one if it's not New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day because they're kind of the same when you think about it. So I've opted for the more girl next door approach with this rainbow cardigan, which has all the colors of summer, but it's built for fall. It's really comfortable and perfect for lounging during girls night in or a day at the beach. I'll link this one down below in the description box because it actually comes in a few different kinds of rainbow so that you can find one to match your own unique complexion. So for style tip number four, I wanted to stay, stay, stay on this topic of color. The Lover album art is a beautiful sunset of blues and pinks, golds and purples. Not long after the Lover album, art was announced that I saw this phone case and I just had to have it. You may have seen it in some of my mirror selfies on Instagram or in some of my videos, but this phone case reminds me so much of the album artwork that I had to include it on this list. I also got the additional ring, which is much better than a pop socket, although not quite as comfortable as the loopy case. This company says that with this case, this phone can be dropped from up to eight feet. They also recently came out with this case, which also really reminded me of the Lover album art. So I'll link both of those down below in the description box. They are going really, really fast but they're really great, so you should check them out. Whew. Okay, Taylor really likes color this album. So one last one about color because I wanna talk about what I think is Taylor's favorite color for this album. Because so far, it's clear to me that her color of choice is light blue. I mean, Taylor's always been partial towards blue because it looks amazing on her, it goes with her eyes. But this time we're seeing Taylor pick clothes that are light blue. 
Even the Louis Vuitton suit that she wears on the cover of the September issue for Vogue is light blue. There have been so many blue dresses and blue appearances and references to blue during Taylor's career that I just can't even start listing them. But especially now during the Lover album and even in the song Lover, she references the color blue which made it go especially viral. There are so many more references that I could make so please save me the time and if you want some added, please add them in the comments below so that people can see it. Basically. Blue will never go out of style. So for this one, I grabbed a light blue bodysuit, which I'm wearing right now. I really love this for fall and summer because you can wear this with shorts, but you can also wear this with a great jacket on top during the fall. So for style tip number six, we're going back to classic Tay with an element that she adds to a lot of her outfits and sparks fly over all kinds of headlines when she does. And that's a charm necklace. In Call It What You Want, she talks about a necklace with an initial. In her case, it's a J and in my case, my name's Jay, so I have a Jay necklace. So that fits perfectly, but essentially wearing a simple chain with a very symbolic charm is classic Taylor Swift. Bonus points if it's an Easter egg, which it usually is. But she referenced it to in Dancing With Our Hands Tied when she mentions an invisible locket. This one isn't invisible, but it's pretty understated to escape notice. Then in her Instagram live video, you see her wearing a necklace with a bow and an arrow teasing her song, The Archer. Taylor loves adding symbolism and Easter eggs to her jewelry. It really means a lot to her and it lets her express her deep inner thoughts. Okay, in that Instagram Live video, Taylor announced four deluxe editions for the Lover album, which include images of her actual journals. She shows stacks and stacks of journals that are filled out and just full of all of her process, emotions, and thought. I personally have never been that good at keeping journals. I get too bogged down writing complete sentences. But what I love about Taylor's journals is that she just writes down whatever she feels and it doesn't have to make sense at the time. So that's what I challenge you to do too. Keep a journal in your bag so you can easily brain dump your emotions or whatever's on your mind. I ain't trying to mess with your self-expression, so journal in a way that works for you. I randomly found this one while in line at a checkout counter one day and it immediately reminded me of tip number three with the rainbow vibes. Tip number eight is one of my favorite outfit completer pieces and that is a light wash denim jacket. Taylor debuted this look on the cover of Entertainment Weekly when she wore a light wash denim jacket covered in pins while sporting pink hair and makeup as if the 80s trend wasn't here already. But the vibe reminded me a bit of her 1989 album. Light wash and acid wash were really big in the 80s, so this is just a really easy thing to throw on to any outfit, and you'll look on trend, because 80s is super in, but then you'll also look on trend with Taylor. She even wore this light denim jacket that was tie-dyed, which is also very big right now. And hey, bonus points if you add Easter eggs to your outfit. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I've been putting Easter eggs throughout this entire video. Can you find them all? Here's a hint. You don't even need to ask how many there are. On to tip number nine, and that is white shoes. In both the me and you need to calm down videos, we saw some form of white shoes, whether it was a white cowboy boot or a white combat boot. Taylor's also been photographed wearing white sneakers too. This works really well because Taylor's been wearing so much rainbow that the white actually makes a pop of color. I wear sneakers and my all time favorite pair of white sneakers are my Supergas. I really don't know if I'm saying that right. But I mainly wear them in the warm and dry months so I don't have to quite clean them as often. But as we transition to fall, I'm really excited for the return of the white mules, white horse, and white ankle boots. And for style tip number 10, this is trademark Taylor. We saw it when she first debuted with her glitter guitar, and now you can't really find any Lover album art without glitter. On the cover, you can see that she has this glitter heart around her eye. And this look is an option, and as you can see, I tried it. But you know, that look isn't really an everyday look. You know, unless you're having a Taylor Swift party, which if you are, can I come? But an easy way to incorporate glitter into your makeup is with this NYX Glitter Primer. That allows you to take some of like this NYX Glitter, 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 Glitter. That allows you to take glitter and stick it to your face so that it stays there. And it also gives it a really good background so that it looks more sparkly and more saturated. So incorporate glitter, add a lot of highlighter, and you'll look radiant and glowing as you listen to this amazing album. If you have any style tips for this Lover album, I'd love if you left them in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going and let me know if you can find all the Easter eggs. I'm not sure all of them have popped up yet. Please like this video if you did, share it with your friends, and please subscribe as I would love 
love to have you back. Again, I do one to two videos every week on fashion, lifestyle, and shopping. Thank you so much for watching. I had the best day with you today. It was enchanting to meet you and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.